do you say? You got to make He's it He said. I don't know. That's how we're going to start off. I, Damn, boy. Damn, boy. He's That's a, a good way to start. boy. That's a good that way to start. That sounded really white. <laughs> of me the same. Damn, yeah, boy. He said. Damn, boy. We got Jared Taylor in the house, boy. Oh, God. oh my gosh, you guys. The, I'm the antichrist of women. Are you Why? though? Am I? How? I don't Not know. Not a cool antichrist. I just I feel like I will be the most the the number one guest that you guys <laughs> that you guys have had that is the opposite of women. Yes. You think because yeah. all the women would listen? Oh yeah, they, they It's they, a they, weird dichotomy, right? Because you are like the drinking broettes. Fave. I guess. Like you're in like the group. You're, you're their father, we, you're their elder brother. Have we kicked you're, it off? Are we Yeah, yeah, we're oh, off. We're, we're off. Going. We're off and this running. This is how we like to start. We just we're off and like, running, boys. It's just like you know, like Ro- you know, like yeah, Ross likes to start with some fucking bit. Hey, no, it's it's be, like, let's be not. Are, we, are we all yelling? No, no it's hey, fine. We're having a good time. This is the broads. Yeah, you know what? The real normal things. We do what the well, fuck we want. Well, what we like to do is be real, and you are real. Real. You're real. You've had a week already, so you walked in here ready to. Let's look. I would say that because I, 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 I'm not trying to be at all like conceited or anything but uh-huh. i sometimes feel i'm the only one that doesn't bullshit any of you guys i think that's, that's true <laughs> and here's the thing so here's what that's we will say true. here's what we have said about you. i appreciate that sometimes here's what we have said about you every person in this group whether like matt evan ross anyone that comes into the group yeah they talk about you constantly right good or bad yeah um what i think it them. is and i kind of yeah, because they're obsessed with you. <laughs> what is it? Like, what is Everyone it? I think you, that's Jared what Taylor. it is. Is because you're fucking real. And then we wonder, how does he get all these fucking chicks, dude? Well, not well, not the shit. Well, you're the celebrity whisperer number one, is what they call you. <laughs> which is so funny. He's like, and I have a theory. Like on everyone him too. knows. Like Jared knows everyone. Everyone knows Jared. Was that a real text, by the way, between you and um, Taylor Swift? Uh, we, yes, it was. That yeah, message. There's, there's gonna be. You'll get follow-ons for that. But like, I'm playing that one. Oh, one. you should do. They're playing that one. He's safe. Playing, playing it close that one to the very cool. Close to the tux. Because yeah. yeah. I have uh, I have a goal, and I don't want to I don't want to re- ruin it. I don't want to relinquish it now. But she knows what it is. Okay. Here's well, the me other there. thing about but, Jared is talk about the long game. I mean, this guy mm-hmm. will start a prank ten years earlier, <laughs> and will you? you will I be know this thing. <laughs> you will be married to somebody or whatever, and you'll be like. Got you. Got gotcha. you. We're divorced. Or That's something. a plant. <laughs> Surprise. Found uh-huh. them in Kosovo. Not your kids. <laughs> not your house. Yeah. The long oh game. Oh my gosh. You're yes, the, you're I do. I do play a lot of strategy. <laughs> That's, I guess I mean that's a good thing. What's the latest one that you've done? Yeah. Is there one that you've done recently that you're like you got somebody? Yeah. Uh, I I pulled some nonsense recently. I'm trying to think what it is because I do it so you do much. So much of it. But they like, always like because I just I do it to entertain myself. I yes. mean, uh, yesterday's a perfect example. Like. Mm-hmm. My flight wasn't until three, and what did I do on Instagram? I created. Did you this? What did you do? I, no. great. I created a fake like meltdown of a wedding, You're like hiding behind a bed. Ha- yeah, yeah. That was happening in a hotel, and this this saga. I I got well over a thousand messages yesterday of people that were like, "I'm waiting for the. I'm waiting for what like, happens." Thinking next. it was real. Yes. Or- yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Was, I was giving explicit details, like um, videos out the window. Like yeah. he was in the lobby of the hotel. He's like I'm hiding, hiding under his bed. Like, there's fighting going on. There's a fire. Mm. They're following me. Oh my god! I had to go to a Chili's and order, you know, margaritas and for then leave second, them there. Yeah, I believed it only because <laughs> it's you? Jared, right? For a second, <laughs> yeah. first of all, I'm dumb. Because he just gets and in everything. Secondly, well, if it's gonna happen to anyone, it's gonna happen, happen to, to Jared, right? Yeah. And because he's open to it, I think that's why you get all these good stories is you're open to whatever you'll say yes to. Sure. And I'll go. Yeah. Yes. I'll go to the fucking thing. Yeah. I'll stay an extra day. Yeah. I'll fuck her. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and you get all this stuff, right? That last one's my, the favorite. He's yes, man. He's like, yeah, I'll do that. He's the yes man. I mean, man. I'll try. For sure. You know, I try it. <laughs> Any, I try not to, you know, discriminate or no. I was, yeah. Like it's just can that you never be? I try to be the same way. Can that be your motto? What? Yeah, I'll try it. I'll try. <laughs> try it. You know, I don't know. I've had, I've had the the last month has been very, very negative. What do you mean? I've had a lot of weird firsts that have happened. I got, I got ditched on New Year's. You, you really did have because had a lot. Yeah. because because Wait, and I quote. 
you're too popular on Instagram. What the fuck? Yes. That's really a reason. And I was like, I, I, I mean, I'm sorry, but we've had these plans for a week. Like, Wait, you serious? I kept, I kept New Year's open. Like, I, I, it wasn't like I had a shortage of invitations for New Year's. Hold on, Taylor. Did you say how did, they, how did they not know that you had an Instagram before? No, they did know that. And I had gone out. I had gone out a few times. So was it just an epiphany that all of a sudden hit them? Like, oh my god, he's too popular. I don't know I, if I want. I, I, I don't know. Did you inquire I mean, further? Like, yes. I mean, I you. Like, why? That's weird. Uh, you guys, you guys can speak to this. I think she was, you know, we had been out a few times. I think she was, she was starting to, f- to crest the fall and mm-hmm. then just, you know, got scared that oh, oh, I'm think- not, I'm not going to be able to tame this one. You know? She, it, oh it was, yeah. I think if you well, go through. It was a, yeah. You, you could have any, like I get this. I get this a lot. You can have any girl. You have any there? girl. You can have any girl you want. Why are you talking to me? I'm like, well, because you. You're the one I want right now. Well, isn't that crazy? But you know what happens though, too. My fork in the but road. But you do say scared. this is the one I no, want. No, people get right scared now. though. Well, <laughs> well, I have no, no, to no, I know. because if you're just gonna bur- like like yeah. that's a that's a flea for me. Like, yeah. If it starts like that, yeah. and that's uh, another thing, you know that I end all of my relationships. I end them when. Do you purposely do that because you want to have the upper hand? No, not at all. Or like, I just know, you end no, first? because I know, I know it's when the south? slope happens, uh-huh. and I know that it only gets worse from there. So I know very specific things, and I've had very specific reasons, you know, that were just things that that I just know. Okay, this isn't this isn't going to be, you know, good yeah. anymore. And that's that stems the from, downward spiral. You know, people that don't get along with my ex wife. Like, I'm sorry, but. Uh, you can never make that work. Uh-huh. I have to. I have to be around her and the kids for the next fourteen years. Yeah. So if, th- if three weeks into us hanging out and you're already causing issues or something like that, you go away. And that's yeah. what a lot of people, uh, you know. And I'm very, very open about this on the first date. Yeah. Our circle is small. If you come in and cause any sort of friction between any of these of these people mm-hmm. or or any of this you go away mm-hmm. not us like i'm not i mean let's go even, that it's kgb that you have those. case in point KGB. <laughs> just, bye-bye. i was going to but say that but i didn't known, want to i've known jared for what is it now like six years do you think yeah yeah, yeah. Those are your deal breakers that's a and good so thing i have. know but i know now i know him well enough now that like i can feel the exact moment oh you know like, when i shut it when he goes like he'll be so so into someone and he gives you a fair shake I do. Well, you I can mean, tell on social media too in. when you're into them, and you He'll can also tell in. too when you're not into them anymore. But then I Just know the exact media. moment, and it's usually something with the ex-wife. No, which is no I not actually, usually. Not usually, yeah. but as, that's only I do happened know a couple that. times. And one time I, it was like she smelled a, like soup or something. It's something very. What the fuck? It's very simple. No, I've never done petty. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. No, the, I think the ex-wife is a big one, and I think that's fundamental things. Like I'm a fucking super. Super, super stickler on just principles because I'm um, like, and you guys can attest to this, and 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 give me feedback. No, I don't change. No, I'm the most consistent, mm-hmm. flat rated person. Mm-hmm. If I tell you I'm yep. gonna be somewhere at a time, I'll be there. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't like make up reasons why or cancel. Like, uh, you know, how many times have I? gutted it down and swallowed it and flown halfway across the country for somebody yeah. that we just on a whim you know promised when we're hammered yeah yeah, yeah we'll yeah, do yeah, that sure, for yeah. you he's like, hung over okay, we're all <laughs> sleeping he's hung over his shit and we get a picture of him in a van like i'm hey, here I'm guys here. Yeah. I, 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 I got it, it. yeah, yeah. yeah. But people love that and they respect that too and they're like dude this guy really followed through but the consistency thing i mean that's my that's the biggest the biggest hurdle i've had in women is Being i consistent. can't handle inconsistent like and I get it. You like, can't you handle guys, them being in yes, yeah. yes, okay. yes. Like, like set the standard the first month. If mm-hmm. you waver from that, then I start going, okay, what? Either A, you put on a show to fucking, yeah. to grab me in. So this is not who you really are. Yeah, exactly. Or or B, you're doing something else that's that's going to piss me off. Well, you know what, too? You just said you're consistent. Mm-hmm. You are who you are. I will say a lot of women, I feel like, go into relationships hoping to change the person. The, right? Uh, yes, people, they do. Women love to change but people. They everybody think, does that. And that's, and that's a, true. That's a, it's, a, it's a really dumb courting dance because a majority of people roll in flexing mm-hmm. and shifting their who they are. Sure. And... and 
it's funny, and, and I'll, I'll give you this philosophy that I've had with mil- military specifically. Mm-hmm. As you think about us in the military, we're thrown into these smaller cities and communities yeah. that have this military base in there. For men, you have already have a completely unbalanced women-to-men ratio mm-hmm. in a military town, specifically like Fort Bragg. Yeah. So you've got well over 100,000 special forces and, and paratroopers in town that are men. Your women population is either grown up there or left there. Correct. You know, already have been married to a soldier before. But you, you're you also dove into a culture that is married and has children. Mm-hmm. Everybody in the military is married. It's not a single person's culture at all. No. So, so now as a single guy, when you show up, you're you're rushing to be part of the club because as the single guy you're not getting invited to the team oh, to the team's yeah. you know yeah, yeah, parties yeah, yeah, yeah. and things like that That's because so true, you're though. the single guy so now you're you you're in this race you... yeah the first person that goes on a second third date with you you're like it's mediocre enough fuck it That's this is it. it we can do like, it and you you just settle in cave you move in too fast and this is a, another we another do that very a lot, yeah. very in the military um uh philosophy piece that i have on on people that move in quickly is you're in a crucial development stage when you meet somebody in the first nine months and if you move in together in that stage especially if you're over 30 you've already been set in your ways of living and it doesn't mean that either of you are right and wrong it's just it's your ways and i'll give this example is uh like the kitchen or dishes yeah maybe your way of living is Every evening before you go to bed, you you do all the dishes, you clean everything, you put it away, and the kitchen's done. And that's just the way you live. But maybe I do it once a week. Every Friday, I make sure the kitchen's spotless, and I and, and that's like kind of my thing. Now, neither one of us is right. It's just sure. our way. But mm-hmm. when we move in together within the first few months, we start getting getting angry at at these things that aren't necessarily right or wrong, yeah. but it starts creating animosity. And you're creating animosity during your development into a relationship. And that's where you just fucking start failing. Sure. Quickly. Well, that's yeah. where it goes downhill. Yeah. And but it's because, kind of... because you're picking at these things that aren't necessarily fundamental that really issues shouldn't. Yeah, 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 between yeah, yeah. two people being in a relationship. This is stuff you can but, work out. Yes. You can talk about later on. Hey, let's figure but out a fucking schedule. During that. And, 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 and had you waited. Mm-hmm. You waited a year, two years before you cohabitate together. It becomes more of a uh, of a of a conversation, mm-hmm. more of a hey, do you mind if we flex to this rather than, oh, that's what that's what you do. Now mm-hmm. I'm just gonna I'm gonna ignore it, but I'm gonna be mad at you about it. Sure, and then it's going to explode for, later and, yes, on yes, into you're something just gonna else. You're going to start piling those things on. I call it like the resentment tree, and yeah. it just sort of it grows just keeps going yeah. in the true. middle of your house, yeah. and then all of a sudden it just fucking breaks it apart. And yes. it it started. You're right. With like dishes, dishes and then dishes clothes, move to bathroom. like yeah, yeah. like other so like things. How, it's, how often it's you just... go out? Who you hang out? And then it well, like then all of a grows. sudden it piles up to where it's everything. Where you feel like you yeah. can't do anything right. Yeah, it is because like, I, I had a girlfriend fuck? when I lived in Florida that like, like every every evening at about six o'clock, and even then I'm I'm working until five or six o'clock at night. I come home, she's oh I'm gonna go grab a drink with friends. Like as soon as I get home, and it's like it it trained me after months of that like. I, I, my body fucking cringes when somebody says, Oh, you want to grab a drink? Because you're I'm like, just like really? Yeah, because I just, I flash back, back to, to seven nights a week hearing oh, that grab come every out, night. Yeah, drink. Hearing that come out of her mouth and just being like, <laughs> Yeah. You can't, you can't just fucking hang it up for an evening. Yeah. Like, you can't just not. Like, I literally fucking, just yeah. got home. Do you yeah. feel like, though, and I've said this on, you were on Ross Patterson Revolution, and it was basically just you and me talking about <laughs> relationships the whole time. And Ross was like trying to come in. Fat but, mouth his way yeah, into it. Get over here. <laughs> uh, shut we up. We basically just like, we're doing a show. Thank you, Ross. Um, but I said that, what did we say? Oh my gosh. We were talking about relationships. I can't remember. I mean, that was, that was where we started breaking the surface. And I think this one is where we'll really. Oh, what, we'll so go do deep you bring into that into. A relationship. So like I said to you, it's like it's this putting together of people is so hard because you're bringing like, for example, that trigger warning of grab a drink into your next relationship. Oh, so if a girl says do that, you, that or do you kind of let that go? And now oh, you no, no, start- no, something like that. I mean, I don't have very many of those. Like that's right. just one of those ones that really dives into me because right. it just it, 
it, it makes me sick to hear yeah. it because it also seeing somebody that just would get hammered seven days a week every, and didn't want to spend time like, with you like it was just so if it was just someone, gross it's like sorry. uh you know do you feel though like if we you're with someone anymore. and they kind of get drunk one night does that bring no back? No, no 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 okay not at all so you kind I, of like you but let I that do, go the the I hate bad girl drunks. Right. Like that's my. That's what if my it's just one tonight. night? Like what no, if one night's just, fine. What if they yeah. just make you pizza and then go to sleep? Yeah, Is no, that okay? Fine. <laughs> okay, so you're not you're not xing these girls out like one weekend. The girls no, like you know I hey, give everybody like hey, so many chances. Drink. He does. He I does. let everybody live their life the way they want to live, yeah, okay. and I will make an attempt but to can't... see if I can if I can align myself with it because I, I always I always think of it as like an on ramp like. Yes, you do have to, and both of you did it right. You know, you when you both went into your relationships that you're in now, you were at that time in your life where you both were going the same speed mm-hmm. as you got on the freeway, and it yeah. worked because you were on you you were going the well, same. We talked Jared the full. I know. Who knew? <laughs> it's so funny. My God, Chris like, and I have talked about this before. Like, right? Okay, I get it now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but we, we him and I talked about it in our past. So if him and I true. met in different points of our life, it never would have fucking worked out. Yeah, yeah, because, because we were on that same path, same different speeds. Yeah, and and it, it, and it now it worked. Been a quick, it would have been a quick like. Did you make that up? Can, what? Yeah. It's fucking Gandhi over here. Write folks. a book. <laughs> Is it your book? Everybody, yeah, everybody. Is it? I, I, I mean, that's. I'm definitely changing it. I, I talked. Are to you Chris, writing a book? I yeah. talked to Kristen the other day, who's my writer with yeah. me. I've grown up with her, and that's. You guys got her have her on the show because yeah. she's known Love me to. since we were eight years old. And oh my god! Well, if yeah. you read, I will if you read her. the first <laughs> yeah. half of the book, because the first half of the book, fishing with nets, was. All Great about name, just, by the way. Just plenty of fish in Florida. I, I, you oh know, my I went God. on hundreds of dates and I kept 20 of the best stories. But now... <laughs> yes. Can you and and, and the listen. style, though, is Kristen interrupts me. So as it's going through the story, you're interrupted by a female. So it's not like, I hope they serve beer and Harold where every chapter is about how awesome I was. And, yeah. Oh, I got to bang five oh, that's chicks in great. a day. No, you're interrupted by a girl that's known me almost my whole life that goes, you fucking disgusting idiot. <laughs> like, what the fuck were you doing? Like, And she's like <laughs> yes! berating me in the book. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Jared, we need, to have, that. we need to have a segment of like pearls of... Wisdom. Of we well, I told, well, I told we you to guys. Call it something like, else. Let's uh, just be real. We though. spoke last week. Is I want both yeah. of you to call me once a week, and yes. I'll give you updates. On, because, I know. like I said, the last few right. weeks have been bananas. Like I've, you know, got ditched on New Year's for for Instagram. I got ditched for another day in Salt Lake because the girl came back and said, "You're way too wild on on the internet." Like, Wait, so, so it's another internet thing yes, now. Yes, another yeah, yeah, yeah. like like people this, are searching me now. If they can't and, handle it, they're, yeah, they're yeah, never yeah, going yes, to be able to. Quick yeah. filter because no, that's good. Obviously, like you, you're not wasting my time. Like, yeah. okay, you can't Perfect. handle this. Like, moving on. And that's that's are you really this more and more across the board. Like, it, this is new. This is new. But but this is also me. If you if you, if you know my history in mm-hmm. the last like four years, I go to very different spectrums. I've gone from somebody that's completely anti-internet, anti-social media. You did four years ago? That was you? This this was a few years ago. Oh. Yeah. Like, who, who did and not- And may do it again. Who did knows? not understand yeah. social media, wanted nothing to do with it, did not live through a phone. Sure. That did not work because she, she really didn't understand what we did- you mm-hmm. know, for a living, and like that was, and also she hated the uh, the attention. Okay. So, getting approached in public places and stuff like that, you gotta be. She used to really that. hated that, and that actually started to like drag on me as like mm-hmm. anxiety. Where when I see somebody, you're like, don't come contact over. Don't with come over. me. I'm like, you're about to ruin my whole. And this whole evening. community, oh, like, yeah. yeah. So, this whole so, community is being able to come up so to, and talk then, to you and talk to you. Like, yes, going going to the opposite end of the spectrum into somebody that was very very popular, thinking that that would. That would work, and that just that didn't work. And then Did I, going, do I know her? Going back, was it, was it just was it just competitive? Is that why? No, or not at just... all. It wasn't competitive. I mean, no, that, just... that didn't end because of the popularity. No, that oh, ended okay. for other reasons okay. that just didn't jive. Like, yeah, you know, for that one, I'm not going to say who it was, but like, I think you are very real online, and for they the most part, people that are either YouTube or Instagram personalities. They aren't they actually character. themselves. Yeah, they, they write and they create. Like, yeah, words. and that can be 
when you are actually hanging out with the person it could be very off-putting when sure. you're like i can see that like wait, are you why doing you... a thing with me is this you yeah. like what is, is this really it? you or is this your internet personality and i will say with jared you that's what you get like whatever you see on instagram when you meet him that's how he is but i think that's why so many people love you but it's because uh, of that i'm very honest in the beginning too just because there's hundreds of hours of this mm-hmm. on the internet. So it's like, yeah, you can't, well, yeah. you can't hide I can't, it. I, I, can't, like, I can't sit down in this nice chat yeah, with and a act- nice girl and be like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm the nicest person on in the They're world. Be like, and then bitch. she goes, and, and I mean, I've had that. My father I sent me a link up. of you talking about fucking a dog that turned him <laughs> yes, to yes. a girl. What? Like, and I'm like, Oh, yes. cause I've edited okay. them. I've had, I guess I've had people that yeah. say you are bad for my reputation. And I'm like, eh, whatever. For you my know. brand, I'm bad. For oh fuck my you. god! Well, yeah, fuck your brand. Okay. <laughs> like it's like okay, then don't be. But at me. least, hey, at least one thing that you can get is you'll see what you see is what you get on the internet. Recently, so you could kind of be like, you know what? I think I might like this Jared Taylor guy because I'm really liking what I see so far, and that's a good little glimpse into whether <laughs> the girl should go for you or not. Like I, I would love if there was a preview of someone before I would date. Yeah. And I can see like a little trailer I mean, of them. I think I should make, I've, I've thought about making a trailer. I it's think. It's like, here you go. There of should you? be trailers? Yeah. No, but oh I think gosh, there should be like dating trailers for everyone. Whether it's Like friends. how they used to do dating videos well, back no, no, in the I day, would make right? It, I'm going to make it like a mini documentary. That's yeah, just like, do it. Here's, I already it. have some of it shot because Hinge does allow you to upload videos. It does? Yeah, but it's six videos, 30 seconds a piece. So it was a three- Three a three bit part that, yeah. I was, that I was doing, and I interviewed Alex and things like that. So you have like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's, yeah, she's like, I'm his third ex wife. Just so you know, he lives with his second one. Like, <laughs> like oh, <laughs> so good, it's so but funny. it's all out there. Yeah, and yeah. It's like, then, fuck it. like girls are like, you know what? I'm still gonna pursue this shit. Yeah, it's fine. And I feel like you weed out so many more people doing that. Uh, yeah, but yeah, and but people don't look at it like that. Oh, you they know, don't. Instead, yeah, well, yeah, because you have a lot of people inside drinking bro singles and this stuff like that are like, oh, you just shell through them. I'm like. Yeah, but this is all interviews, and if sure. I get done with the interview quickly, like yeah, I just that's, know. Whole, that's what dating like, is. It's you a don't whole interview to, process. You don't have to say any names, but is there one that kind of like got away, or one that you still think about? No names. I just want to know if you have one. Yes, but also I mean, too, I'm I'm very I kinda, yeah. No Tiffany, one. Tiffany Tiffany knows really. Uh, yes. Off air, you'll tell me. Um, she's or but, but 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 okay. I will preface like you you have to again be real with yourself mm-hmm. and you have to sometimes play it out that are you feeling that way because it didn't happen and you've created the perfect character Correct. in your mind yeah. that you think would work yeah. or yeah. was it real but you know if we didn't if we didn't go down the gauntlet to really put a test to it then I can't truly say True. that one got away okay um, because no, really, I don't. So right. I don't regret right, right, right. any any relationship that I've ended because it ended it ended at the right time. You know, Caitlin and I have become like we were. Uh, we both realized, like, man, we were friends for a year before we started dating, and when I guess we started dating, we just didn't. It was an accident, mm-hmm. you know. Because that's <laughs> what you always said to me when you guys. When I first and met you, it was like, just like we were friends first, like we were best friends. I used I to have tell her about zero friction, living together, awesome, with two kids upstairs and me downstairs. Good it's for amazing. you. Guys. I have not had a single fight with her once. Yeah. in the house, like. Well, when I saw you so guys it's like, together. <laughs> you look yeah, at that, yeah. it's like, how the fuck do you live with a female and you're not fighting with them? Yeah. yeah. And you're not even touching them. <laughs> yeah. But it works for you guys. And it I works. think that's amazing. That's insane. That entire thing. I remember when I met her the first time and like, you know, she was just talking about your guys' past history and everything. Right. Yeah, she was just. Oh, she'll tell she's you. Funny also, as fuck. She's like, also you. just and as I've, real as you. I have brought her downstairs on a date yeah. and let her walk. I sat on the couch while she walked them through our entire sure thing. well and that's one thing i love about her too not, is the she's most... just as real yeah. as you she doesn't fucking sugarcoat she doesn't shit, lie like... and she doesn't drink either so like oh, she's awesome. got yeah she's never drank she's yeah. only been drunk twice in her life like Isn't that crazy? so 
You've got no she's, you've got she's someone got that, that yeah. remembers every oh, everything. <laughs> if we were to call up right oh now, my gosh, cat puke or President's <laughs> Day, or like give her these like words, she would be like, "Oh, oh I've like, tell us the whole yeah. story." Oh yeah. yeah, no, and then she'll tell you a better version than you remember. You oh, drunk yeah. idiots will fucking pound it on the goddamn door, and I had to do it. this. And <laughs> you know what? Though I admire that you guys are so chill with one another, live together, and do everything. I don't know if you guys do it just for the kids, but I those kids now have a mom and a dad. Yes. Um, that yeah. they, they don't. They don't. And they see a beautiful relationship, and they also see, too, that you don't have to be married, that you can still be amicable. You can still be fine with each other. Well, they were too young. Charlotte doesn't know. Like, Charlotte sure. has even asked, like... She's asked Caitlin, have you ever kissed daddy? Oh, oh like, my gosh. No. Oh, no. <laughs> no, so, I love that. So like, Not yeah, really. Those yeah. two, I don't know. I mean, honestly, their their world has to be really weird because, you know, they watch rock stars on the TV and then they're in Sitting the house right for singing singing on the guitar, the that's songs that's, that they're watching yeah, on TV. Like, it's got to be awesome, though. <laughs> and but that's think... the thing is, you know, we've been approached by Charlotte's teachers about, you know, that she's a liar. You know, she tells a lot of stories. Oh, You're like, no. Like, no, yeah, no yeah. Yeah. I'm like, well, what story? She's like, well, she told everybody she flew a helicopter. I pulled a picture up. I'm like, yeah, she has. Oh my god. Well, she gosh. told everybody that she, you know, sang at a rock concert. Yeah, yeah she yeah, has. She has a few times. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, this what else did she tell this you? This like, else? this child has done more in her life than I have my entire life. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> your teacher's jealous of your daughter. No, but I love the way you guys do make it work though. You know, like Well, I mean, I I think I think there's a lot of things wrong with American relationship culture. I think we've fallen way too deep into this possession kind of. Uh, what do you feeling. mean? People, people think that you get in a relationship and, and you, you, own them? you own them. Yeah. Mm. Rather than rather than a mindset that I'm getting in a relationship with you to add value to my life with something that I can't with with a void that I can't fill with myself or my friends that I have. But you're yeah. also getting into a relationship with a real person with real. Exactly. Everything. And you have to, you have to understand and life that. And everything. You also have to understand that what you think is the cookie cutter or best version of a relationship was taught to you. It yeah. was it wasn't it wasn't you learning it on your own. It was ge- it was forced upon forced you. Forced upon you. Were you were indoctrinated and into it. And you're just it. trying to fit I mean, into you that. You look at you look at the jewelry industry and oh you know in the early yeah. 1920s Divorce they lawyers. were the ones yeah. that introduced the engagement ring yeah. for money. Yeah. So it's like and all these things have become Silicon. such a such a very entitlement thing where it's oh you better get me you better mm-hmm. get me a good ring. It's like the bigger, Why? That the was, better. That the... was that was created. That was manufactured for other people to make money. Why are you Why are you putting in and in investing so yeah. much importance into it? Why? Because your friends. Because of, because the internet. Because you are all indoctrinated into this. Yeah. So it's like too many too many couples out there use children as leverage mm, in a breakup I see that. I, I, that is disgusting to me like never once i don't care like i've seen that first like hands. oh i've you seen i've seen it so many times you like, guys didn't not at for all sure. no no um, and, and that's the thing is like you can do this and others other people no not my ex not my ex yeah well have you ever tried yeah like and even then like like again you have to take three steps back and say are you doing this for them or yourself yes are, are you, you trying to inflict pain yep. upon somebody else because you feel you deserve mm-hmm. revenge mm-hmm. which and that's another thing this feeling of i need to get revenge when I a know. relationship is because over it's like because you did something yeah. so oh, horrible is you end cheated the relationship. or you broke Karma's up with me bitch. i like, deserve yeah, yeah i deserve revenge no 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 you don't you don't deserve shit you deserve to just shut up well you know what too at the end of the day <laughs> no they do and, and move the, yeah. and move along move stop well, wasting yeah. your energy because even if you get the best revenge, if you get to push a button and nobody saw you push the button and they lose their legs, do you feel, feel better? better? Does your is your life yeah, now yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. complete? Was them like like yeah. willing to get out of a relationship warranted that and you're kind of fucking shit. your kids up? Yeah. Well, that's the biggest thing that drives me insane is that the, at the end of the day they're really fucking their kids yes. over. They yeah. they might be like, oh, I'm doing it for myself because I need the I like I need to know it's over. I need to know that he's suffering like he made me suffer in the relationship, and the kids You've are the one at the end of the day that are feeling it a all. Disgusting cycle. Because now these kids grow up no, with I know. this, with 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 planted hatred or animosity, that they had no yeah. say in whether or not 
they were allowed to make their own decisions. I know. And with the amount of divorce now, I think the best thing you can do for kids is show them how to do it well. Yes. Because it might happen. Like, that's just yeah. fucking how yeah, it goes, I mean, right? Uh, like, with most the status, of the time, it, it will. will. Yeah, like, it will. So you know, the best I am thing going to do. teach my two girls, like, do not think that you have to get married. You Correct. don't have to. This was all made up horseshit. Oh, and by the way, if you get pregnant, <laughs> yeah, well, calm down, here's the thing. If you get pregnant too, do not think that you have to marry yes. them. I hate when people do that yeah. it, all the time is that it's like, oh, you know, I'm, I got pregnant. I think we need to work this out now and get married. I've seen so many relationships end horribly because of that. Yeah. Or, you you're don't just, have to you're, get married. You're, yeah, you're already in a bad situation. Yeah. You think this is going to make it, it worse. better? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it works out for people. Sometimes it doesn't. I'm just saying that shouldn't be like your number one thing. Like, oh, let's get married. It should be like, hey, let's figure this out. And if we do happen to have a really good relationship together, then yeah, let's go ahead and yeah, don't do that's, it. That's 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 my biggest plug in inside the groups. Every time I see, I see the posts about using kids as leverage, or they're going to do this. Yeah, we can talk that. about that. A lot of people ask about how much you're in the drinking broettes group like you are a, uh, an I admin mean, but you which are is, like which is really funny is i told them uh, two weeks ago i was like you're hey not you stop guys, tagging me and shit yeah, yeah you guys keep tripping the algorithm you're yeah. putting more of your posts so in he's not feed. trying to I like generally look. won't see this stuff yeah. but once a month but now but, if you keep but tagging then there's like a stuff. sea of women that were like but we want your input why? i know but like, that's why well, there's here. a few <laughs> who were like yeah yeah why is there a guy in this group i'm gonna freak out and be a, a karen and then everyone else was like no it's fine like yeah, it's it's cool because you know that he's not lo- he's not looking at all your posts. No, I promise. If you no, I've right? I, I, like, I, I never people I never are... type the group in no. yeah. to go like, oh, let me check out what's going on in the ads. No, yeah. it's when something yeah. populates or there's a you know there's been a few nasty fights and a couple yeah, couple things had that have had to, had to had to go on in there, but it, uh, uh, a lot of it, you know. Yeah, just be more real. So if you could, so here's <laughs> yeah. a little piece of Jared advice that I would want. So you say there's Let's like these. I know there's probably the biggest thing that if a girl does it, you're super into her. You're posting all over Instagram. You like her. What's the biggest thing that you would be like? Oh, no. And go. The inconsistency. I get that. Yeah. But like, what is like one thing that you can remember that you were just like, uh, uh-uh, uh, no, uh, uh-uh, uh, bye. Not not jiving with the group. Yeah, okay. like your friends and going your in. Business yeah, there's been issues. quite a few that like have, you know, tried to be cool and treated Matt like shit out the gate because they thought like what? they were mm-hmm. counterculture. Like if because if they didn't, mm-hmm. if they weren't nice to him like that, yep. you know, they think like, oh, well, I'm going to I'm going to be a badass and I'm just going to be rude to him. Yeah, like, they thought being rude would make him be like, oh, they're cool because yeah. oh, everyone they're real. else like no, don't what? make him think. Oh, yeah, a it's lot like, of no, 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 no. That. Oh, by the way, we're in his house. You dumb shit. Like, yeah. Like, like we're, this is a different setting. That makes it's no not, sense. It's not us out an event and you're meeting, you know, it, it, it's just, yeah, yeah. Not jiving, so not jiving, not jiving at all. Whereas recently, you know, when we went to LA, uh, I had someone out with me there that like, that was the first time anybody is, has ever come into the group mm-hmm. close. Cause we were all in an Airbnb together and got along amazing with everybody. What about that? Well, what happened to that one? Uh, Were you sticking on? No, I mean she's she's very free spirit. Oh, okay. She has her own things that she's doing, yeah. and I, I even told her uh, the last the last day we were together because she's she's very popular okay. on on the internet. So you will actually you would actually know exactly who she is. Okay, uh, what would I? <laughs> possibly she would know because uh, she military. She's a jumper. Okay. Um and uh, did I meet her? I can't remember. Jared, you know I have I to meet her I too. I can't remember. I, you can't uh, say well, jive with the I'll group. Show, you I'll can't show. say jive with the group and then, I got, and then I don't meet her. I'm oh just my God. saying. Oh, this is another, sorry, this I'm is something scared. me and Jared like to do in, in public. <laughs> we like to get in real life fights. Mom, Dad, oh, We haven't done it for fighting. Tiffany yet. Sorry. I know. We, we have to Yeah, this week. We this should week go we back to our... Our, uh, our ridge Please. spot, yes. our OG we, spot. We go, we go back to Hooters. I need to go back to Hooters. Oh, we're going to do this in Hooters? This is going to be fun. So we like to like go to the bar. And start a, a married couple fight. <laughs> married couple and, fight. And like, throw out the Keep worst dirt. Going. Oh, the my God. The worst yeah. dirt. Good. I can be a good actress, um, too, in this. I'm just going to be and so just, actually, I, I, surprised. I've got a really good skit, I'll tell you after this, that I think okay, we should film uh, <laughs> while we're here. Because it'll be it'll be phenomenal. Okay, perfect. So she got along with everyone. Yeah, yeah. She got along great. But, you know, she's got her own things going. Like, like. Like, like yeah. uh, okay. she has a lot of plans, like lives out on the East Coast. And I, I told her that 
the last morning she was like I, I had a good time what do you think i was like i mean i'm i definitely like this but i would be a fool to think that this would I'm really gonna, work I'm out. Gonna, no, no, that I'm just going to be like, hey, uplift everything that oh, you do. Okay. Come live with me and, and we're going to like, no, that's dumb. That's, yeah. It's having unreal expectations. You know, why not just we had a really good time this time when we both have time again, we'll do it again and we'll just keep that up. And yeah. Maybe someday down the road. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. And she's cool with whatever whatever you're doing. You're cool with whatever she's doing. Well, that is something. But yeah, fucking mature to me. This is kind of like a newer thing. But like just to be, I, I don't know. It is. You have I mean, people you have to, in you your have to life. Think about mm-hmm. this though, and this is, this becomes very very crazy, it is when you when you when you assess thirty years ago, forty years ago, nineteen eighty to nineteen to nineteen eighty nine, right? Dating in that realm, you meet somebody through mutual friends, through personal ads, through anything. However, you meet them, you go out with them. You have one way to contact them, and yeah. that is a house phone. Mm-hmm. Yep. You call them in that time period, and they're not home. Your psychology accepts that as being okay. Yep. Oh, well, they just weren't home. That's fine. Yeah. I left a message on the machine. They'll get back to They'll me. They'll get back to me? Yeah. Whenever they get it. Fast forward now. No. You tell somebody, oh, I'm busy tonight, or I don't want to do anything tonight. Then they see you on, their, on your Instagram story with a different group of friends. Now they're angry at yeah. you. Yeah. Do they have a right to be angry with you? No, you had other plans. Like you're but doing, now they can see it. Yeah, but now, now they have. Now you have this form <laughs> of 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 you. You feel slighted. Yeah. If somebody doesn't respond to your text, you know, in ten minutes or so this an is hour, what I, hours, or they could have forgotten. So I got caught. Feel I, slighted. Yes, I used to get caught all the time when I first got onto Instagram because I still lived in the world of I could tell you that my kid's sick. Yeah. And you'll just believe that, and then and or I'll whatever what it may I be, want. like back in the but day, was your kid really sick? Be or like, or oh, is it because you didn't sick? want to talk? No, I'm busy. This is, this is back before kids, right? So like, oh, I'm sick, or I don't feel like it, or like, oh, my mom's making me blah blah blah, right? So I'm still in that mindset of like, this leads, I can tell you, yes. and then I can do whatever I want to, or do. something yeah. can come up, or whatever, and I don't owe you an explanation just because you asked me to go out. Sure. So on Instagram, I would get caught in the beginning all the time because I'm like, oh yeah. They can see, see that I'm fucking out. out yeah. Like, I thought anyways. you said you weren't going out. So this oh, leads this leads to another another kind of uh, thing, uh, a, a, a social norm- normalcy now that I have both sides of the feelings on, and that's uh, ghosting. Okay. Mm, so okay. ghosting, I believe it, it it's created because uh, I've seen both sides, both men and women, like. They refuse now to handle rejection or just mm. move on. It's true. They have to oh, fight they it. Close. Yeah. It's oh, and, sure. and so much. Or they don't. But that's the, not closure. The, they just the keep women that have it out. sent me a message. Hey, I actually, you know, went out with somebody else, and I'm really feeling this. So I think I'm gonna feel this out. So I think we okay, should stop cool. talking. My response has always been. That's awesome. I'm really happy for you. Good luck. And you know, if it doesn't work out, you got my number. Not the... They go literally. Every one of them are in shock. Are you serious? That's I, I'm in you're, shock right you're, now. You're, you're, you're not Wait, mad? I, what? Like, I can do whatever no, I want why, in my life. Why would I be mad? Like, <laughs> yeah. that sounds awesome. Yeah, like, yeah. If it happened to me, I would tell but you the same thing. Why would you want them to waste time with you, exactly. right? When they're yeah. feeling someone else yeah. or trying to hold on, on yes, to people. But, but it's like... People want to fight now. No. Like, why? What do you mean? Wait, wait. But I didn't get a chance. But I didn't get this. Or you didn't give me this. You didn't give me this. And now, so now it's forced people's hand now to just fucking turn it off, which that sucks for me because I've never been that person to, to fuck with somebody when they didn't feel it. And yeah. I've had a few people in the last couple of months go completely black. And I'm just kind of like, hey, you didn't have to do that. Mm-hmm. You could just tell, just me. tell me. Like, am, am I, I wasting my time? Yeah. After, that, you... like, after that second day of, hey, good morning, and yep. you ignored me, like, just come out and, 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 and say it. But we talked I, about this I the other also day. respect them. Yeah. Like, because Can you I, blame them though? Because yeah, that's they what are I mean. conditioned. I do at this respect point, their time that they think that they're gonna that deal with gonna, an explosion. Yeah. And at that point, you're robbing somebody's time for half a day yeah. sometimes. Like oh, yeah. just, just going saying, back and forth. Hey, hey, I, I I'm good. I've had a I've had a girl take up like a, a day and a half of my time of like Hey, I don't want to read the fucking 60 things you just wrote me. I've yeah. been there. When, I, I just don't want to read it. Like I've I, been there when girls have ruined like entire evenings yeah. of all of us hanging out and they haven't even been there. Yeah. 
and they've been t- they have really through a text through message? the yes. phone yeah. because he's like i've i've seen like, people uh, ruin a I whole shut, evening i shut down like i'm like sure Oh, we no, mean because people dude, are because like, people are trying to end it. No, well, you're I, trying to end I, it. I, I no, just trying to like, fight. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, they're wanting, trying to be like, why? Yeah, What's yeah, wrong? What did I poke. do? Yeah, they want to keep going rather than just accept what you said and, and respect it. Like, so, so like I said, I see both sides yeah, of yeah. the ghosting thing, but it still does. Sure, it chirps me a little bit because I'm just like, hey, just tell me if I'm fucking wasting. But what it boils time. down to is time. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, why does someone waste their time with someone who doesn't mean anything anymore? Doesn't want to be with them. Like, but why? Somebody shows up on our first, like, like somebody showed up on a first date the other day, and, like the first thing out of her mouth. Do you bring all your whores here? And I'm oh, like, just trying to be fucking cool. Like, it's uh, like that's not. Actually. No, that's not all being right. cool. I don't. I don't have time cool. for that's this right insecure. now. I don't know you enough to like go find into this that whole fucking funny. thing. If you, if you're trying no, to that's be funny, insecurities. or you're trying to yeah. be no. fucking this is just exactly like, you know because you guys you guys fucked me up. You fucked up a date for me. How? Oh, yeah. Can we hear about this? Yeah, Wait a second. Yeah. What did we do? Yeah. <laughs> well, call. I haven't listened to it yet, so I still don't know what you <laughs> but said. Oh, we, we, but didn't, we, we didn't say anything bad. We actually don't say anything bad to I you. Know. We joke. I have a we theory. We fucking love you. I have a theory, which I'll talk about on this show, on why you're attractive. And yes, you are. There, I said it. <laughs> wow. <I> have, I, <laughs> is that surprising? You think it shouldn't Jared be surprising? Taylor is sexy. I think he's attractive, and I'll tell you why. Let's it's a whole it. theory, it's an imprinting thing. So in the 90s, I got imprinted upon. So you're saying he's been in your life long enough? You just got used to him? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I'm like, he's just, just, he's just grown on you? People just grow on you and then you find him attractive. It's like, fuck. It's like, fuck. So in the 90s, was it 90s, late 90s, maybe early 2000s, there were these groups that came out these bands like limp biscuit mm-hmm. where they mm. were trying to tell us that that type of front man do you remember there was like a couple of bands like this yeah sugar ray sugar ray oh, yeah he was like yeah sugar ray yeah. this type of like mm-hmm. kind of dude like you are and i'm like sugar ray not like I mean, sugar ray little, no what are you trying to say I he's mean, like maybe limp fred durst like fred durst yeah. less durst. whiny yeah, not whiny, just uh, like your demeanor. It's very... I'm bare like, naked are, ladies. Like, I'm just myself. Stop it. Rub top. Now you're just being rude to yourself. No, but like... I mean, he's a little heavier set singer. <laughs> you're looking... So you're looking... <laughs> Everlast. You remember Everlast? Yes, Everlast. Like yeah. that yeah. kind of vibe. Every song's the same. Now, 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 now. Down. There's someone they, that I think... Like, I have this food allergy. I have this. I can't, oh, no, 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 I can't, I can't go here. I can't go there. I got to check this. I'm like, all That's right, what I'm, I'm saying. done. I, no. I don't want to concern myself Mm-mm. with too those... Too much upkeep. Those things, yeah, it's too It's too much for Well, me. and the thing is, too, is even nowadays, like, I find personality for me, just like, I, I think I posted it on my Instagram. I was like, I'm in love with Post Malone. And I'm, so many girls were like, ew, that's disgusting. And it's like, it's not... He doesn't I mean, care. Yeah, he doesn't like, care what you he think, doesn't and care. I love it. And, and I think that's part he, of it. To me, he's sexy and he's super nice and it's his personality. He's great and he's fun. Like, that's what I love about him, you know? So, Jared, it's kind of your confidence. Do you feel yeah. like when you see a girl, what is the first thought, yeah, I could definitely get her? Or you're like, do you have that kind of confidence? I don't, I don't know. Like, do you ever think, like, there's no way? No, I've never thought that. Yeah. I mean, you know, I've shot for pretty much anybody. I don't care. I mean, I, I know I can make I mean, make when you look laugh. at your past history, you know you get of the women. Yeah. They're and all that's very part attractive. Of it. It's a vicious cycle. You that's know you another can get thing, em. though. People fucking hold that against me so Why? much. They're like, I've seen your exes. I'm yeah. nothing like them. I'm like, yeah. you're already ruining this. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's just that's shut true. up. It's insecurities. But they're exes. Yes. So why are they For exes? Yes. You it's be like, the person that's going to be like, perfect. let me fucking jump, me jump on my fucking, I'm, I'm, I'm experimenting with, okay, this yeah. didn't work. I'm not going to do this. Yeah. Look, here's what I'm not doing. I'm not lining up the same exact person yeah, no. over and over and over again yeah. and dive Learn. bombing each one. Clearly that wasn't good enough. I'm going all enough. over the fucking spectrum. Yeah, you really do. Just mm-hmm. because someone's sexy, though, doesn't mean that they had a, a winning personality, yeah, too. No. You know what I mean? You're like, you could be like, listen, no, I think you're super sexy in your own way. Like, you, you out. No. I've caught myself people. a couple times in the last month. Everyone thinks it's on there's some, so There's some people out here, too. Incredibly attractive. Yeah. I've known him for a long time. And I had to, like, smack my hand and remind myself, God, they're so boring and yes. have no personality. Yeah. Like, yeah. yes, yes, you see and you go, oh, man, there could be. No, you no. you you grotesquely dislike that yes. person because they suck. Correct. <laughs> and while, yes, it's true. Here's a good dude question, too. Like, you can do you can have a night with that, right? 
Like you can you at this point? Oh, you you're getting, saying can you tear, you're turn getting off older? The you're definitely not like old, but you're getting older, uh, mature. Sorry, more yeah. mature in your choices and how you look at relationships. Wiser. So if someone is that annoying and dumb, can you turn it off for at least a night? Or do it depends you just what I would like, have to do. Like I, I, I'm not. I don't. I won't at this put. Stage, I won't put my like just having a de- having a good evening with everybody, especially like this week. Yeah, Everybody's yeah, yeah. here. Yeah, you're excited to see everybody. I'm not going to let somebody ruin that mm-hmm. over go- just because they're to go fucking to bed with hot. Them. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so no, I don't. So if you knew they were cool shit. though, yes, yeah, cool. So absolutely. if you knew they were cool, but even though you just thought they were boring, but they were good in bed, you'd would you still do it? I mean, I don't know if I know any cool anyone like that and boring, but oh, good in really? bed. <laughs> Like so, it sounds like a little bit of a you yeah, think? yeah. You can't have both. Yeah. You have to say You're they're okay, good cool. and bad okay. and boring. So what? Okay, fine. Wait, wait. Or, so chill. Like yeah. they could fuck you and be fine, but they're just kind of a boring personality. Yes, oh, I think I've, you can I've handle that. He those. can handle that's that. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stay quiet. There's a few yeah. that have just oh, okay. they just I'm like, like don't is that what? That, oh, there's this, it's a sex doll. Yeah. yeah. I was like, is she with you? She hasn't said one fucking thing. That's what I meant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I prefer. I prefer. I don't know. This is the longest I've ever been single. What? Yeah. How long yeah. have you been single? Since August. Wow. Yeah. Are you a I serial dater? I'm, I'm a, I'm a ramper. Time. What does that mean? Uh, I always have my my my, my exit. <laughs> so like oh, when I uh, when I get oh, out, so, I, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. On the way out. Yeah yeah yeah. 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 Oh my yeah. God. It lightens the blow, you know. I love I, it. I don't like being sad <laughs> for a long time, so you know you got to distract yourself with something else. Just so what's the segment that the we should rebound. recur with you? I think it should be. I mean, it's just updates on. First of what's all, updates happening. on your date uh, yeah. dates and um, wait, I want to know people that were ruining. Dates for you would yeah. be a great because we're that's going to. But one. I will say no, we didn't. We don't say anything. No, that was funny. Bad about yeah. you? No, like we it just was just. About yeah, you. how did we it, ruin this date? Uh, mm-hmm. So I guess like she searched whatever. I I mean I I can't remember what's on my profile there that led her to episode one of Broettes. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then she was like, wait, so. Am I just going to be this joke for these girls because they joke about oh, everybody no. being with you or something like that? I'm like, oh, I'm like, I don't no, know. I haven't no, listened no, to no, this. No, no, no. It like, was I... her opening line. It, it was one yeah. of the jokes. It's a joke, people. It's we just joke. said we were the only girls on the network that haven't slept, slept with, with Jared you. Taylor. That's very yet. true, though. Yeah. It's funny. <laughs> Funny. That's probably where she was like, "Do you have some kind of sexual attention with yeah, him? Well, Are you yeah, like she, with oh, them? she goes, oh "Does God. one of those hosts like really like you?" I'm like, "I'm like, what? What You'll fucking did know. you listen to?" You'll never know. Well, apparently Jesse does. I'm oh, like, pl- oh please. <laughs> hey, yeah, you can't rule yourself out. <laughs> yeah, calm down. You're playing it cool. You're playing it cool and boring. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> uh, That's my jam. Real. That's my jam. You're playing it real cool. Hold on, let but me ask you this. I, I want to th- ask him one question. Okay, one more question. What was the most pettiest thing you've ever broke up with someone for? Petty. Petty. I don't do petty you things. You don't do petty? No, they're they are strictly principal items. Like really? like if you do if you do something These to me that I would like... never do to you, I'm done. I'm gone. So it's like, never because she had a weird shaped nipple no, or no, no, she I had like chin oh, hairs like that, or a weird shaped vagina, smelly mm-hmm. vagina? I, I wouldn't date that. Oh, okay. Well, like, yes, well, what if it, you know. Pressure wash that thing. Like, what if they had really long toenails? Never had that. I've never had. I don't had, know. I'm just thinking of I've things like. I've never had any weird shit like certain that. Certain things like, that, like, weird guys would be like, you know what? I had to break up with her because she had I a really long pinky toe. The one thing I know and I notice is jiving with the group. So if he, if she, if, yeah. the, if the girl they they messes point, with. Thing. A contention point or a point of friction, you go away. I sure. Mean, that's, that's it. I rise that above. I'm not that person that, and like. pretty I'm not good the one that, that leaves yeah. the group that yeah, is like, yeah. oh, guys, I can't hang out with you anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not no. Prince Harry. And whenever he does start to do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, my we God. don't let him out I'm of the I'm not a fucking pussy whipped on Megan. That's like. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm out of the family. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we gotta do our own thing yeah. now. Yeah, Megan doesn't like you anymore. <laughs> right, Megan. Megan, yeah. you are pretty good about that. Yeah, I don't. Pretty I good. don't put you won't them ever above. be like, guys. You don't I, yeah, understand. I don't put them above yeah, us, yeah, yeah. and I've well, never done that. No. I've never been like, no, she's different. Mm-hmm. The thing is, you yeah. like your life, <laughs> and you like the people in your yeah. life. So why but don't I also you change think that? that I, I, I have something so unique to offer somebody. Yeah. All you have to do is roll in, and if you think about it, you get to come in 
and have all the benefits of a fun relationship with none of the expectations of mm-hmm. things that you, a lot of women may not want. If yeah. you don't want kids, you don't want that wife responsibility. I've got a wife upstairs yeah. that <laughs> takes care of the house, yeah. makes sure the house is clean, the laundry's done, everything like that. You Damn. get to be... The one that shows up, has fun, goes on, goes crazy places, meets weird people. How is there not fucking... like a, a line of women? Just, you know what I mean? Well, just like I fucking wait. Girls like, get too caught up in the yeah like, in the drama and well, yeah, the bullshit. They, they either I almost want feel it like or it's we like, should interview them. I think for you should. You. I think you should. Like, I think I should send them to you. If you send them to the show, we'll at least do. But I mean, a very a very depressive, depressing thing is I have not. I have since this single bout, I haven't got the bite yet. What do you mean? Like, like yeah. you know, like, that, that fucking that feeling, that that yeah, bite where yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah. oh, I really like this one. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, I, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you yeah. know, you know that one song a year that you hear that yeah, first you're time, you're like, I'm going to play this a million times. Like, this is my jam. This is it. It's clicking. Yes. Like, like, I haven't got that yet. So I'm It'll still happen. looking. I'm, yeah. I mean, I'm not looking. I'm, That's what I'm saying. It, people are saying like it happens when you're least expecting it. They do give me shit. I got chewed out recently by... Somebody that I I thought was pretty cute, good career, lived in a cool spot, Mm -hmm. like, you know, met met all the things, was very funny online, and then just fucking hauled off on me about, I heard you talk to so many people, I'm like, well, I mean, uh, you and I have maybe shared, like, a few sentences before I owed you anything. When they get that That, um, possessive thing really quickly, that word is huge. Yeah, and that's what what I know. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, too, I have this, like... This thing in me, like, wait, you got mad at me. Like, um, that's not allowed. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Nobody's mad no. at me. Not even the girls that, you know, have ended relationships. Yeah, they what? Don't, they're not mad at me. Why are you mad at me? You're friends so, yeah, with all yeah, of yeah, them. Yeah, now I keep seeing her on Instagram. I'm like, I'm going to message her and tell her she needs to say sorry because this is <laughs> She's mean. mad at me. I this is this. mean. You did something really funny on page 11. They were like, they're like, uh, oh, God. Post, yes. they're like, post a picture of your Cute significant couple other. Photos. Yeah. yeah, and it was like. Yeah. Show off your significant other, and Jared posted like eleven photos of different women. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> randos! That he was like totally oh, with. Just, Wait, like, like, they were yeah, random. Yeah. Like yeah. you didn't know them? Oh no, I knew all of them. Oh, like yeah. they were together. They yeah. probably spent a night together. Yes, kind of thing. I had Dated nice, a little bit. Like oh, let's get ourselves. And that perfectly summed up you, like, I think. Right oh, now. Oh dude, which everybody is like, was like, oh fuck, off. perfect, <laughs> perfect. Look at him. He looks like. But I think uh, before we go, I think it will be interesting. I think the broettes will like this only because on Drinking Rose you are like crazy you are Jared all of this, but on on Drinking Bros and on this show you are you will and with me and her you'll very easily drop into like relationship conversation you will pretty yeah. much talk you have like the bro very very stringent yeah. you, have things, yeah, yeah. you have a lot of things yeah you have a lot of things that you've learned through doing this things is not, right and I'm, wrong yeah I'm not trying to be Tucker Max. I'm not like, oh man, no, no. I'm gonna use my Instagram and 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 everything that no. I have to just try and run through. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't want to yeah. run through people. I want somebody to post about me on their thing, like y- like you do for your husband. I always yeah. see that. I'm like, mm, I don't want this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't. Things. I, I don't. That. Yeah, yeah. I no, I get it. Yeah. I now, if you find someone, though, genuinely want that. Are you going to? Is it just them? Like you only talk to them? You're only oh, with yeah, them? Yeah, like yeah. you're not with anyone else? Oh yeah, I do that. I, I absolutely do that every time. Okay. I shut everything down. Well, I say yeah. no. If, like, if, if I get the bite and yeah, they if he gets and, the bite. and they reciprocate, yeah. then yes, it's full shutdown. He shut goes down. all in. Full yeah. shut down. You're mm-hmm. not talking to other girls. The yeah. girls hit you up. You're because like, hey, I'm with someone Oh, I tell, I tell them flat out, hey, same thing. Yeah. So I'm moving forward with someone. I mean, someone. I did that when Alex and I got together. Like, yeah. Fucking yeah. in 24 hours, sent out the fucking yeah. the letters. Did you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, guys, shut like everything down with everybody. Yeah, and said, hey, that's smart though. I'm, I'm moving and I do... you can't keep up with it. Like, no, I know. If you're gonna, if you're gonna try and really develop with somebody, Mm-mm. you can't be one foot in. No, I totally agree. I think that's agree. a good piece of advice too. Is that you, you give every relationship a fair shake. When mm-hmm. when girls say, "Oh, you're just gonna da da da," like I will give you a fair fucking yes. shake. So I will go all in. Fuck it up. I will try yeah, it all quickly. Yeah, like, but now you already fucked up me even getting yes, you into that place. You're, 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 yeah, you're not going to be one foot that. out. I've had a few like, you, you know, I could I could have dated professional athletes. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know whatever. that one. No, no, no. This is oh, a, another oh, one. This is recent. One this is very I recent. Oh. You know, I get I get asked out by by pro baseball players and blah blah. blah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, baseball's boring. 
Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah. I remember that. Whatever. You're like, well, it is. nobody Dumb. likes baseball, so go have fun. Yeah. I mean, oh, I like the Cardinals, they're really but down. They're really down on the ratings, and people aren't going to baseball games anymore, so have fun with yeah. that. Yeah. Like, even then, like, fucking what show me it, a fucking a, baseball player with a I goddamn have, personality. But what was the point of that, though? Was that just to let them know? I don't, like, you're no, lucky no, 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 to no. have I, me? I think some girls try to flex on... Or an ego or whatever. Like I don't. I, don't, I mean, they're obviously, about they're, the yeah, other their girls. outcome is like yeah, yeah. they're trying to get some sort of rise out of me. Of, yeah. mm-hmm. Hey, I turned this down for you. For you, I'm supposed to be like, oh my god, thank you, you're amazing. Yeah. No, you're a jackass because you just made. Imagine me saying that. Hey, I could uh. be. Yeah, I'm at dinner with you, and I go, hey, I could be dating Taylor Swift by, right what now, but fuck? I'm dating you. Yeah. Like, how does that no. look? How does that look from a and guy to a, a girl? Exactly. That's a good it's thing. Like, like, Flipping all this that dude around. is a piece of trash. Yeah, he's an asshole. Like, but I've had girls do that. I've had more than five girls do that to me this year. Tell me who they could have dated. I've never heard this. Me. I must have been that. out of the dating game for so long now. I don't know if this is a thing, but that's like that's starting off. And that's one of those. On the that wrong is foot. one of those Why things would do I would never do to somebody. And so Why would there you, you do go, that? right yeah. there. But he, they, it's because they see these people on his Instagram. So, well, he be, doesn't take them off. No. He like has these people on there. Their insecurities. Yeah, Try because I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna go in and sanitize my Why? life because no, you would have is, no pictures. I mean, yeah. what the fuck? It's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you can't take all the girls out. I'm no, like, come what? on. Yeah, um, but oh well, yeah. I feel like we could talk about this forever. Well, we. Can, I, I mean, it's Jared. We're gonna keep having him on. The girls. I mean, broettes know know you. You're admin of yeah. the group. It like, is, and that's another thing. It's like in this quest, it's so much easier when I'm hanging out with somebody from this community Mm -hmm. because there's so much I don't have to explain. And I like that. I like, but what's drinking bros? But what, what's the groups? What's Uh, this? What's this? It's like, I'm so sick of like, Telling the story, like yeah. I just how it all rather, started. Yeah, it's, it's really hard. Oh, how'd you guys start? Like, like, I'm just so sick of telling this. It's like, so you're saying you're looking for someone in the community if yeah, it happens. Yeah, yeah, they'll work. Preferably military. Yeah. You know, I yeah. do a lot better with Will people you that let have us... experienced sacrifice and death. No, I yeah, I agree. Well, <laughs> and will the you thing let us too, talk to them? Is Absolutely. you get to bond with them I too? Feel like over I that know military what stuff. You should have. Yeah, I, feel I think like... you guys should look for it this week. Because I know. I mean, we do know your. I know what would trigger you. I know what you. She's embedded in the giant harem. She she probably could, she probably has a couple. Yeah, of we mind. both I think combined I our, our forces world. combined. Yeah. yeah, you know all day I long. I think we can yeah. find you. I think, I think we do operation. You know, I need oh somebody my God. by I'll my birthday, go, March by 18th. Your birthday. Oh my March gosh. 18th, we and do they a meet party everybody. in Wilmington. <laughs> yes, you two, yes! you two choose the winner. Oh my gosh, can we do this? Yes, we got this. We're going to have We're to done. post about this. <laughs> March 18th. March 18th. The so search tryouts. for 2020's <laughs> when fucking you, real girlfriend. When you find someone, because we don't know what you're physically, you have to be first physically attracted, then you talk to him, you send him to us for the final interview. No, you guys are also on the hunt too. You're oh, submitting. Okay. That's, I think it should be, I oh, think okay. I should put this yeah, all yeah. on the broettes. Okay, perfect. Like, okay. <laughs> Perfect. You guys will we, present we to me out for us. The, oh win, the, the winner that this. you've that you've chosen. And it's just going to be someone we want to hang out with. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. thanks. But that's they the hang thing. out with us but the listen, whole time. If they, they do like hanging out with us, they yes. like hanging out with the of rest course. of the group. That that's means like I get to hang out with course. Ross and Dan and act like of fools. Yes. Then we all go to our respective bedrooms and have fun. So remember the night we all went out with the husbands and everything? We need a girl who's going to be able to do that. Yeah, because With Jared all needs of us. to be out there. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm tired of, you know, I, I hate that was having, a, I, so hate, much fun that I night. hate dragging somebody new in too. Because yeah. you're always that, it's like, because everybody's got to kind of tone it back. No, I know. Like we need to, oh. we need to seal, we need to seal the circle. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm over it. Yeah. I'm ready. Okay. And I think I that's like a this. good amount of time. Yeah. You can get yeah. all your wiggles out. I, I don't, I don't, I don't have any more <laughs> wiggles. I don't, I don't, you've gotten many need, wiggles yeah, out, friend. Yeah, I've gotten plenty of wiggles. Like, we can I've, sit still for a second, now I, I think. just need someone to pass the fucking gauntlet. <laughs> yeah. Like, I like this. Okay, we do got you have, we're um, this. Do you have a drinking broette, just someone in, like a woman in your life, girl, mom, ex-wife, no, 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 someone I'll, I'll, uh, that you can nominate? Well, I mean, we already talked about Caitlin, so yeah. she's, she's, she's we already, know that she got her shake. Well, uh, she's gotten her fair shake. I got, talked to her before uh, we did the show. So Jenny, Jenny Campy. Okay, you guys know her. I think so. She got di- she got ditched. Like a, a a drinking bro from Singles had her buy a ticket to go to Salt Lake. 
and then ghosted her. What? So I ended up extending and stayed through the weekend. Hung and hung out with her? her? Yeah, yeah, it was really fun. All right. Yeah. And she's in the community? Yes, yes. She's All been right. very active amongst them. Very, yeah. very Sorry, fun. girl. Yeah. That shit so sucks. Awesome, but awesome check. Jared yeah. is here Don't, for you. I know. Hey, He'll Jared. always pick up the slack. <laughs> Jared, you need someone to hang out. Hey, I'm, I'm not, I'm not hey. complaining. But also, too, like, I mean, I'm partially responsible for drinking, bro. So it's like... Yeah, that was a shitty thing to happen. Oh, yeah. So you're yeah. kind of representing, yeah. like, hey, we're so not making sure. Bad. I like it. She did. Yeah. Yeah. Making so sure are you we don't gonna, um, on the bad Are we going to yeah. drink tonight or are you busy? What's up? Oh, I'm done at seven. You're done at seven? Yeah. All let's right. Hang let's out. hang out later and get All drunk. Right, you tell us. You tell us where. That's where, we, that's where we'll start. Yeah. We'll start the. Uh, Scoop. Oh, we will start out. Okay. All right, bitch. See you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting. Your next move on Every girl I'm moving on Yeah, don't y'all Better things to do Yeah, go buy some fucking shoes